live in three, two, one. What's up? What's up, everyone? All right, so basically, it's just a kind of video log, blog, maybe. I think that's what I'm gonna go with. My first three weeks streaming with Twitch, I can just say. I had no idea what I was getting myself into right off the bat. I just, it's nothing. I don't think I've ever done anything like this. So I have a background in IT and business and I guess I picked up Twitch as more of a, in streaming, more of a, hey, motivation to finish the games. And then I started noticing, wow, the, the amount that goes into this uh, audio alone, I think I've watched 20 something videos, configuring audio, adjusting mixers, what type of sound I need to go, sound I need to go through the system, um, how to configure my PS5, connecting to the Elgato capture card, um, connecting it through the controller, the headset. I've watched so many videos. Um, I will definitely link a few of what has helped me a lot. It has been a very, eye-opening experience i props to streamers who have been doing this for years because technology i know changes so often that it's the ability to keep up and just produce content weekly while streaming three to four days because some people just stream five to six times a day push out content and i mean i have a full-time job so this is kind of more of a hobby i would say for me i mean if it turns into something more beneficial down the line that'd be great but it's this is just my experience of the first three i would say basically almost like a month i think i started yeah mid-march um i basically had the computer set up from a college project i had to do so i was just sitting here and i decided yeah let me just uh see if i can knock out the mountain of games i haven't been able to beat a game in what under a month i would say most games take me at least three to four and resident evil which i honestly just finished i think that was one of the first games i streamed honestly i finished that one it took me about a week of consistent consistently playing and yeah i had errors even when i was trying to stream the content so i had to redo certain chapters over again to get the audio working correctly hearing the just the, the amount of tension and just making it feel consistent in the information of how i while playing i wanted the viewers to feel what i was feeling so that's just just that's just honestly audio literally learning how to mix audio correctly where if i went to add a little background music or have my mic correctly hearing um picking up what I wanted to say, configuring the mic. Sometimes the hardware just doesn't go through. So it has been an experience. Um, getting, honestly, I'd say the easiest part has been getting the webcam to work. And yeah, there was a couple of softwares I had to use, but then I'm literally learning how to cut app, cut videos together for YouTube, uh, streaming, learning how, reading up on how hey you need you need networking or you need uh, to grow con users you need to share it all your social media you need to share it to your friends family um you need to grow like honestly the first streamers usually give up after not seeing growth and not experiencing the three to four daily viewers they want all the time i mean i stream i started basically almost every day because it was fun but then i realized how like taxing it can get so between working and taking care of family, I've gone down to, I think I have a consistent schedule of four days a week now, anywhere from two to three hours. And in between that, I'm still basically research, learning new websites and, and tools to use to improve. Honestly, this is my first video I'm gonna post up on YouTube. I'm gonna edit it to the best, post it up, wait for feedback. And I love constructive criticism. Please let me know what you think I can do better. Check out my stream and tell me, hey, the audio is not doing this, or the audio is going out, or the frame rates are dropping, or hey, if you're using this, you can tweak this and get better. I 
live to le- I love to learn. So the fact that if people have comments, good or bad, I'm still gonna learn from it. Um, so that that's just I don't know a little rambles from the thought. You know, I just finished a few hours of Outriders, and I figured, why not just uh, do a little post? Add, see how it goes. There's some music in the background. Hear from other people, their experiences. I want to, I feel like I missed out on hanging out with people and dealing with people ever since COVID, definitely with gamers, especially. I haven't, I missed out on gaming community, so... I definitely feel like that's where I want to get into and just kind of find viewers who are similar. Shout out to the streamer, the parents who are streamers also. I can definitely vouch for that. It's not an easy task. That's all I'm going to say on that one. Um, so thanks. And just we'll see how the streaming uh, activity turns out. How enjoyable it becomes down the line. And I'll probably post one to two videos a week at this in at this rate kind of like work a little bit more towards developing better content and going from there